Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Uh, man, I'm sitting down here in Vero Beach, Florida. Uh, feeling nice and lovely down here, man. Kind of glad I beat that storm, but um, got a load going down to, uh, I think, my, my close to Miami that delivers in the morning. Um, anyway, man, I'm going to hit y'all with a quick video, man. Um, some of y'all need to look for in tires and where well, you, you know, don't get screwed over by DOT. Anyway, man, y'all check it out. Everybody knows when you come to Florida or you go to certain areas in Alabama, DOT like to screw with people. Sometimes when you're going out west and you know and things like that. Most of the time the number one thing that they get a lot of people on is tires. This is something that you know new drivers can take heed to in the industry, man, is to make sure that you check your tires. Don't buy a tire dumper. It's reason for that. You buy a tire dumper, you just wasting your time. All the time, unless you're just trying to keep it as a weapon in your truck, you know, to protect yourself. But anyway, don't waste no money on it. You can buy a tire dumper all you want. Go back there, dump the tires, dump the trailer tire. Hey, it seems like it's got plenty of air in it, but you don't know. If the DOT officer do a level one inspection on you, majority of the time they get you for tire under inflation, tread depth, you know, just wear and tear on your tires or either your brakes. But, you know, some things, that you, or either your, your lights is not working. Brake light, clearance light, or anything on your trailer. More likely, more, most of the time, it's something to deal with your tires. The reason why I said it don't buy a tire thumper. You cannot check the tire pressure of a tire with a tire thumper. So, some of you new drivers, I know, I went to a trucking school in North Little Rock. Not going to say what school it was. They never told us that. You, you, you're going to learn out here, man, that, you know, get a tire. Get a tire gauge. This is what a tire gauge look like. You stick it on your tire, then it gives you a reading. I got a little clip of what I'm going to show you. Invest in that. And also, invest in units right here. Right here, this is probably 7 bucks, maybe 10 Uh You can check your tread depth with this right here. Hey, it can save you. On your t on your steers, you don't want no less than four thirty seconds. On your drives, you don't want no less drive on on your drives and trailer, you don't want no less than two thirty seconds of tire or wear and tear on your tread down. But if you're putting across the scale and the DOT see you and say, "Hmm, that tire not looking too good," pull on around back. You just dumped it with a tire thumper. You didn't have a gauge or didn't check it. He runs it. It's below eighty. He gonna put you out of service and probably get you give you a ticket. You know, this is just little some things that you can check for to keep you from getting an out of service violation, to keep you from getting a ticket, is check your time. Do it every day or if not every other day. Check them. Winter time's coming up, you're gonna be losing tire pressure. Uh on the tire, on the tire pressure, on the tire, it lets you know how many pounds you can put in it. Most loves, they they put no more than about 100 pounds of tire pressure in it at the loves. If you go across the top pass, I do this every week. It costs five, 10 bucks. If you got points or your fuel, that's free. To check your trailer and your uh, uh, tires. I mean, check your trailer and the truck. It lets you know. If it's below 90 or it's below, let's say it's like 90 pounds or 89 pounds, that machine that they have there is enough pressure to where to shoot it up to 100 because that's what they have it set in. If it's like 84, 85 or below, my bad, this crazy phone. But anyway, like I said, if it's like 85 or below, uh, they machine more likely would not air it up. So meaning you would have to go, uh, you know, over to their shop, which got you a whole lot more pressure and air it up. But the thing to that is, is they won't air it up. Uh, because if it's mo most of the time, if it's below 80 psi or it's low air pressure, they don't, they can't physically take the hose and stick it on there. Because if they do it, then the top blow, it falls back on the shop. Now they got to credit you a tire and put a tire on. But anyway, you can do it. So uh, I think I was coming down here today and I stopped to make sure my tires and everything was good. 
on the outside trailer, on the trailer tire, inner, inner tire. Um, it was like 30 PSI, but hey, it looked like it was up. Um, I hit it and hey, it looked like it had no air in it, but it was at 36 pounds. Meaning, whether I got the floor or not, and I pulled out, because I want, I knew I was going to go to the Love and get a tire pressure check on it. If I pulled out, put it to a scale, he did a level one on me, pull that tire gauge out, I could have been put out of service. But um, anyway, man, this is just some simple tips that you could be doing to cover yourself out here on the road, whether you're a new driver, whether you're an owner operator, whether you uh, uh, lease on to a company, you got your own authority. Man, check the simple things out. Most of these DOT guys, they're going to nail you on a simple thing. Keep your record and keep everything clean out here. But um, anyway, man, I got a little video clip I'm going to show y'all. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, I'll show you. Um, here you go, man. All right. First thing I'm going to show you, people. Um, so if this reefer unit is a little bit loud, hopefully you can hear me fine. But I'm going to show you this tire gauge uh, first that you can get at the truck stop. Now on your um, steers, you know, the, the correct tread depth is no less than 430 seconds. So if you got this tire gauge here, make sure you can see it. Stick that down in there. And it's 1230 seconds. I don't know if you can see that. So we're in good shape, you know, on the tread depth or whatever. But, yeah, what I was saying is, man, you can get put out DOT, man, is uh, the proper way to check your tire for your DOT is you get your tire gauge. You can go to the truck stop and get these for about, you can get them for about 20, like I said, 20 something bucks. But the proper way to check that, you stick it in here like that. Put it in here like this, and it gives you a reading right here. This one here is that, uh, let me turn this around. It's kind of, look like it's over 136 PSI. A little bit more than what I, you know, what I expect mine to be at. It's a little bit more, so I might let some of the air out. But, um, here's a truck in the trailer. I gotta get a truck wash. Other than that, everything is running fine. Got a load of eggs on here. Running down to, uh, load of eggs going down to, uh, uh Miami. But anyway, here's another on the, on the backside tire, man. Let's say you take it, you take this, you can get these at a truck stop. I don't know how much. Uh, I want to say maybe five, ten bucks. Like I say, then again, on the back tire, then on, you can't be no less than two thirty seconds on your on your drive tires. And we're here. We are at uh, uh, what is that? 22, 25, 22. So we good to go on there. But you know, when it comes to these tires, and under the inflation, I already checked these right here. These are good to go got to get this replaced because it's got a little water down in it but anyway we'll get that all going but anyway now this tire here the inner tire when I checked it uh, earlier it was uh, this inner tire was at uh, 36 PSI so that's why I'm telling you a lot of the guys man if you get a tire thumper man you're just wasting your time Getting a top thumper and hitting that, you're just wasting your time because you can't check the, the true top pressure. If you get a top thumper and you get out here and do your pre trip and you just thump that in the morning, so okay, yeah, it's good to go. Well, you don't know how many pounds of pressure is in there. If it looks low, DOT pull you in, pull out this tire gauge, and it's got 50 PSI in it, they're gonna put you out of service for under the inflation. Normally, if you have like 80 PSI or, you know, something like that, 80 PSI, most of the time they won't bother you. But I know the uh, uh, the loves or most of them, if you have 80 PSI, they won't, they won't put air in it, but they'll be more than welcome to give you that. But uh, in the meantime, I'm going to check this one because I was at, um, I don't get y'all off the ground. 
I was at 36 PSI. So I'm gonna run this in here and check it and see where it's at now. Okay, let me bring this back up here to y'all. That way y'all can check it and see it with me. See, now I'm at 100 and like 105 PSI. So I'm good to go. I think I had a little small leak around the stem. So, you know, I'm good to go on that part. But anyway, man, I'm a, um, it's kind of gorgeous out here today, man. Down here in South Georgia. But anyway, man, I'm gonna meet y'all back inside, man, and finish this up. Finish this video up, man. We'll holler at y'all back in the truck. Anyway, man, I hope uh, that video was helpful to y'all, and I hope this video been helpful to y'all today, man. If you like the channel and uh, like what we're doing over here, man, uh, give us a thumbs up, share the video, comment. Uh, it really don't matter if you thumbs down or not. But um, we'll be getting back with y'all, man, in another video in the future. Anyway, man, I'm going to go ahead and catch some rest and catch some sleep. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, thanks to all our followers, the ones that do support us and truly are there for us. We appreciate each and every one of you, man, and um, we'll get back with y'all with another video, man. Holla at you.